Hey guys, welcome to LA. Today I'm going to be making a charcuterie board in the shape of letters and I'll show you how I do it. These are the paper mache 16 inch boxes from Hobby Lobby. So they're like little cardboardy looking box things. And I originally planned on getting the smaller version and getting XOXO for my board, but they were sold out of X's. So I decided to just do XO because I didn't have enough charcuterie supplies for four big ones. So I just did these and then I am going to cut them with a box cutter. Just the top layer of the, and I did the side because the side's all like damaged and stuff. And I'll show you how I do it. After you're done getting it all off, I recommend going through and getting off all the little excess pieces. Like I have this whole like little section. There's like little flaps. Like parts where I just didn't get close enough to the edge as I would like. And I highly recommend once you get it all like cut off like this, you can actually pull up some of the pieces that are too far and you can take your thing and you can just kind of push down it and get it off. Instead of like trying to like pinpoint it and go down the line, if you just fold it up it's a lot easier. I am going to line mine with parchment paper. I'm just going to cut it into strips and put it on the bottom and on the sides because I do plan on reusing these because they are $7.99 each and then you can like use the 40% off coupon but that's a whole other story. But even if you aren't reusing them, I highly recommend using the parchment paper just because all the like meat juices and the berry juices, it just is gross and gets all in the cardboard and that doesn't seem very sanitary to me. So I highly recommend lining it with parchment paper no matter what. The parchment paper will kind of pop up until you actually have stuff inside with it, obviously because it's not having anything to weigh it down. But I just try to line it as best as I can. Like obviously there's still some spots that are going to be showing. And then I'll cut away whatever excess if any is still popping up over the edge once I put my stuff in it. And that's what it looks like. Here are all the supplies that I'm using. I got some cutie pie hearts. Some little like wrapped hearts. Some little chocolate morsels. Different types of crackers like wheat thinny ones and circular ones. Some little chocolate things. The salami to make my little flour things, toothpicks for the salami, um, cheese, different types of cheeses, another different type of cheese, strawberries, and then I have like four sprinkled like valentine -y colored cookies, and I think that is all that I'm going to be using for this, and I guess we'll get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is cut the salami in half. This is how it will look after you cut it. So with the salami, you want to take one of the pieces and you're going to roll it. So just roll it into like a little like cylindery thing. And then you grab your next little piece and you just connect it to make it look like another piece. So it kind of looks like that. Obviously it's not focused very well because my camera hates me. So it'll look like that. And then you just keep on adding pieces until it kind of looks like... A little flower so then like there's it with another piece it kind of looks like, like a rose and you just keep on doing that this is what it looks like after I put it all together and just keep on wrapping I tend to do like and once I get after the first roll I do like one on one side one on the other and then I'll like add it on this side then this side then like this side this side and just keep on alternating i'm gonna secure mine with toothpicks just because i don't want it looking like opening up within the charcuterie board um they can just pull out the toothpicks whenever y'all get ready to eat it because obviously you don't want to be eating toothpicks here's what it looks like once i put it inside the board and then on the like edges i'm just gonna put little chocolate morsels in it to like fill in the gaps I cut my strawberries into fourths and then I just kind of like put them in different directions so I have some where the point is facing up, some where the point is facing down and just kind of put them wherever and that's how that looks. And then there's it with the chocolate morsels inside too.
Thank y'all so much for watching. Remember, if you liked this video, then please like this video. I hope your 2021 is going great, and I hope it gets even better from here on out.